so I'm at the airport and I missed my first two flights. I was the last person on standby for United and I didn't get it. So I ran to Southwest, literally had like 10 minutes. We ended at Southwest, no seats. So now I have an hour and a half until Frontier has their last flight out. But I'm at PDQ because I'm freaking hungry, so I'm gonna get some food and then I'm gonna go to a third terminal and do this all over again to see if I can make it on the Frontier flight. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, March 16th, and I am just hanging out in my crash pad. I mean, I look like absolute trash like normal because I'm not going anywhere this far. So, I got in last night from Tampa at around 11.30, and I wasn't home until 12.30 because I had to go to the crew room, pick up my crew tags for my bags that I ordered, pick up my chips that Crystal brought me. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still trying to get over this cold. I still have a cough, but I feel so much better. It's just the cough now. Um, my roommate made me some coffee. So I got some coffee, it's super good. And I'm just trying to register for my last class um, online because I only have one class left until I graduate. And that's pretty exciting because I have 117 credit or what is it, 117? Yeah, 117 credits. And I only need 120. So I only have one class left. So I'm just looking to see what my options are for now. So I got the greatest news today from one of my friends. I got a text saying, I'm in your city. And I'm in Denver currently. This is not the crash pad. I'm at someone's hotel. And me and this person have been talking every single day since we graduated. He used to make me coffee every day and we drank every night. It's Connor! The one, the only Connor. Oh my gosh, it's been so long! <laughs> so I packed all my stuff with me and we're gonna see where the night takes us. I mean, he only has 12 hours here. Less than. He has less than 12 hours here, and I'm still on call, so I had to be ready for anything. Yeah. So we're just going to hang out, catch up. But I thought I'd show you guys him, and then we're hanging out. So, good night, guys. This is Connor making my bed. <laughs> because I was so nice and paid $9 to come over here. $9.73. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're about to have so much fun. Look at you go. And then I got my little pack right here. Look at that. I hope you I hope you don't snore. I was actually able to get out of the house. Shout out to friends KK and Austin. It is um March 17th, uh St. Patrick's Day and it's like six o'clock, 6.30, and we are on our way to Raising Cane's. I am the happiest little girl in the world right now. Is this I, the vlog squad right here? <laughs> well, you guys don't vlog, but if you start vlogging, we could be vlog squad. So today's adventure, oh, we're going to Raising Cane's, and I'm so excited. I'm stoked. All right, I'll show you guys a little bit. Later. I really don't think anybody understands how excited I am that we are here. OMG! <laughs> I am so excited. Do it for the nugget, do it for the nugget, do it for the tender, do it for the tender. Chicken feet! There's disco balls. <laughs> I am the happiest girl in the world right now. I can cry. Morning guys, I got a call yesterday from crew scheduling and I am going on a three day trip. How exciting. I am going to um, Vegas and Cleveland, so I'll be in Cleveland tomorrow morning. They're all red eyes, which kind of sucks, but whatever. And then I go from Cleveland to St. Louis, overnight in St. Louis, and then St. Louis back to Denver, and then I land at like 8 p.m. on Wednesday night. Then I'm gonna catch the red eye out to Tampa on, I guess it'd be Wednesday night, Thursday morning at midnight. So yeah, I am just packing the section in my 
uh, part of the closet is getting smaller and smaller because I am moving things little by little to Florida. I have about, I want to say, three more trips till I come home. Three more trips coming home. I know I'm going home for sure in May because I have to be there in May. But I'm just trying to get everything packed little by little because I don't really need it. And yeah, so I got some stuff packed. Good to go. Trying to downsize. And um, I'll show you guys um, me getting ready and heading to the airport. So me and my crew just landed in Vegas and we are snacking and eating some dinner right now. I had some PBJ string cheese and fruit snacks, yum, with just airplane water. So we probably have 30 more minutes on the ground here and then we are headed to Cleveland and we land at about five o'clock in the morning. So just gonna hang out, have a little fly to party here in the front of the airplane. There's no one on board. Let's say hi. cool people. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> the crew is here. And then we got some more of them up there. So yeah, we're just hanging out, eating dinner. But I will show you guys Cleveland when we get there. I'm not bad attitude. That's 100%. That's definitely it. My in-laws, like. I have just landed in, where am I? Cleveland. That's where I am. It is 4.21 in the morning and breakfast starts in 45 minutes. So I think I'm gonna shower and go down and see if there's anything worth eating. They were so kind and they gave us a snack bag and we got in our snack bag. I got cookies. Okay, let me set you guys up an apple, orange, cranberry raspberry, a bagel, I don't know what this is, strawberry cream cheese, and a muffin. So yeah, that was really nice of them. Good morning, guys. Um, I guess not really good morning. Um, it's currently 5.12 in the afternoon now. And I have on my uniform and I am ready to go to work. So tonight we are doing Cleveland to Denver and Denver to Salt Lake. And then I have an overnight over day in Salt Lake. So I'm actually looking really forward to that. I can't wait. Um, just getting finished pack packing up right now. I did a little bit of blue eyeshadow to make it like blue liner. My false lashes per use. I look awake now. I look alive. Um, I slept kind of well. Not really the curtains in this hotel. Um, don't really block out sunlight, but that's okay because I got free breakfast and I got free to go breakfast. So my lunchbox has some extra goodies in it and that's pretty exciting. But it's gonna be a long night ahead of us. I believe we arrive at like four o'clock in the morning again. So it's gonna be a really, really long night. We are back in Denver. It is 8.15. We are not done. We are doing another flight. So I'm going to the crew room to make mac and cheese. Because why not? Why not utilize our microwave? But crew's here, taking a break. And then we'll be on our way to Salt Lake.
walk in. We didn't decide to go to the library just yet. So we came to Temple Square. And it looks like the temple is right here. And we have Latter-day Saints Church right behind me. This is so pretty. Look at this. Look at that. I want to go to a church like that. <laughs> So we're just exploring, I'm here with one of my crew members, but it looks so pretty here. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. the capital they have group tours every hour but it's 10 30 so I don't think we'll have time to do a group tour so we're just kind of doing a self-guided tour we got brochures checking out different things there's four stories to explore so we'll see where the self-guided tour takes us <laughs> some more steps we're at the house of representatives for utah they all have their little desk with all their little sanitizers and bee stuff because apparently bees are a huge thing here but it's just so pretty you can't get over it These are all the guys. In the house. I can be anyone that I want to be. <laughs> A highway patrol. Facility staff member. <laughs> Currently on our 319, we are flying Misty today, the Arctic Fox. So we are doing Salt Lake City, Utah to San Antonio, Texas, and then we do San Antonio to Denver, and then we are done for the night, but I will be staying at the airport because I am hopping on a plane at midnight to head to Tampa because I have a dentist appointment on Friday, and then I'm literally taking the first flight out after my dentist appointment to come back to Denver to then work a flight on Saturday to Jacksonville. So. We got a full fledged uh, next 24 hours of craziness ahead of us. Hopefully, I can take a really good nap tomorrow. My dad will be picking me up from the airport. But until then, um, let's go fly. I officially made it on the midnight flight to Tampa. I'm going to wrap up the vlog right here because I'm so exhausted. I've been going since 8 a.m. and it's midnight. I don't land until 
5.30. So, Dad's picking me up in the morning. I'm gonna go crawl in bed with Bucky, and I will see you guys on my next adventure.